What's up guys, this is Valor Mode. Today I wanted to talk to you about partiality. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about this is because I've been getting asked a lot of questions about my uh, wristbands here. I got one that says Black Lives Matter. Yes, it does say that. And surprisingly, right, police. And I wanted to bring us to a scripture of, of um, to get you some context of why I wear these two uh, wristbands. James 2, starting from verse 1. My brethren, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. Um, and and if, you, if you continue reading in this, in this scripture part, this is uh, the story of the rich man and the poor man. And you uh, seeing the man that's finely dressed and treating him in a, in a certain way and saying, sit here in this nice place. And then looking at the poor person and saying, you sit down over here on the floor. And so you, you, are, you are showing partiality, you judging one by the outward appearance. Right? Now, now, now does that start to make some, make some uh, sense? Who is the rich person? that you are showing partiality to. This is what the scripture is challenging us to. Now I could I could go into a lot of a of, of Black Lives Matter and um, why the organization itself is problematic to Christians, but that's for a different video. Um, but the words Black Lives Matter is so important because we do just just be honest, we do have a history that would go back and, and, and it will look as though we don't care about black people. And so Black Lives Matter is powerful. Now, this is where I disagree with the organization, but the phrase is power. Now, look, I have also have a, bra a, a, a wristband that says that says we support the police. Because we, because we should, you know, now, now listen, we should not, we should in no wise say that because a, a police officer is a police officer, he is just, you know what I mean? Show no partiality. There are problematic police and we need to address these things. Um, but to blanketly say that the police are the problem, period. Come on now. Now we 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 show we need to show more allegiance to Christian values than what we show to conservative values. It's a difference. It is a difference. Now I need you to show some valor, all right? Less less it's time for that valor when we think about these things. There is a difference between being conservative and being Christian. This is this is one of the keys right here. If you go to verse eight in John and uh, in, in James two, if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partiality, you are committing sin. This is the scripture, guys. And are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the law, keeps the whole law, but but fails in one point has become guilty of all of it. <clears throat> so if we break God's commands, boom, the whole thing, we, we are done. Now this thing... Partiality is a sin. This this is this is sin. And what does the Bible say? The wages of sin is death. This is a, this is serious, guys. One thing that we seriously need to keep in mind when we're talking about um, the police or black lives is the example of Christ, right? The nature of Christ <clears throat> is keeping other people's um, well-being in mind, right? Um, because with the example of Christ, he died for sin. 
for somebody else. So he was in service to somebody else. Um, and so why, why, why is this important? Well, because right now, the, the, the culture is telling us to choose a side. If you support, uh, if you support the cops, if you support law enforcement, then you're saying that, you know, we need to silence all this, you know, racism, woke talk and support law enforcement. Um, if you're if you're on the Black Lives Matter side, then it's like we need to um, voice the concerns and the evil of racism and defund the police. But the example of Christ is Christ took made a sacrifice for the people that were against him to help them thrive. And then Christ also rose from the grave and now he is thriving. And because of that sacrifice, there is also righteousness giving to the offended, uh, the offensive party. You see what I'm saying? Like if we use this, if we use the Christ like example, we don't have to sacrifice one side for the other. So this is what this is what I'm challenging people to think about and reconsider, not how is my camp the best or how can I uh, de uh, debunk or or uh, dunk on the other side? How can I in the best interest of the other side and myself make things the most optimal and, pro and, and, and prosperous. And this is the example we get from Christ. Okay. How can we respect the uh, black people in, in a community and diminish police brutality while also equipping the uh, police, the law enforcement to do their job safely and effectively? This is what we need to think about. We, we, we need to stop silencing people's voices and we need to stop trying to destroy people's livelihoods. Um, yeah, I mean, this 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 is what valor is about, y'all. This is what being a, you know, being a follower of God, being a follower of Christ is about. It's about it's, it's about, yeah, the golden rules. Love God and love your neighbor. All right, guys. Let's keep up the battle.